Well, hello Commanders, Commander Plater here, and welcome to today's live stream. I hope everyone is doing very well. Um, today we are indeed playing a game called Outer Wilds. Uh, this is a fairly new game. Um, it is currently only available on dum 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 the Epic Store. Um, so you might not have heard of it, and you may not have seen it, but it is an indie title. Uh, but it's a very interesting one, and I thought I'd take a look at it just because, uh, one, it was a bargain at the moment, um, and also I thought I'd give it a go just because it looked very, very interesting. A very interesting concept of it with micro worlds, a fully handcrafted solar system that you can kind of fly around and have a look. Not our solar system, but a solar system. Uh, but a quick way to everyone we've got in chat so far. So we've got Happy Shrapnel, uh, Shiv, Kuro, uh, Darb, Harrison L, Theo. How are we all doing today? Hope we're doing alright. Um, Johnny McCormick, hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very interesting interesting style of game as well. Um, I'll, I'll say that much for it. Um, Harrison Keat, hello. And this is a completely brand new playthrough as well. Um, all I have done so far is played maybe five minutes of this to familiarise myself with the controls. And that's it. It's pretty unusual, but you know what? We're, we're, we're going to get into it. You might notice the way the eyes opened. That's relevant. Oh, there we go. Stuff's going on with the sound. One moment. Ah, uh, you know, I have to restart the game. Oh, how annoying! It's one of those. It's one of those games that doesn't switch everything over when it should. Um, when you change your audio output, which is a bit classic. So we'll just quickly swap it over. Uh, Jivika, hello, or Jovika, hello, how you doing? Tone, Delta, um, stupid move 67, I can relate. Um, hey chickas, how you doing? I think I should sort it out. There we go, yeah. And that means you guys can actually hear it as well, which helps. Be yeah, a very um, peculiar kind of game. A little bit puzzle based, a little bit first person, exploration, sci fi. I would say lots of different kind of genre stuff in there with a bit of a peculiar storyline, I would say. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head out on a new expedition. So we are looking up at the sky. It looked like something just happened. Same purple falling from the sky. Yeah, this is apparently it's best played with the controller, as you saw, so it's an interesting one. Um, I don't know if it will be. There's our pilot, back from your pre launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are. Leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Okay. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. And you're sure you fixed the retro rockets? I mean, it seems like a bit of a, a dick thing to say. So that sounds like me. Uh, that was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before we can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Um, oh yeah, no voice acting, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I, uh, that, that's the only thing that kind of lets me down a little bit. 
Ah, what's this here? Um, no chickens, it's not early access. Full release. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in the ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Are you going to space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Um, I want to practice with a pro before I leave. Oh, yeah, kiddo. Oh, you're just saying that, but if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try and land on one of the geezer. Here we go. Geezer or geyser? I'm like, I want to say geezer. Show me what you got. Or I should say geyser, because geezer is like an old person. Geyser. Okay. Oh yeah, flying this thing is an absolute nightmare. Also, since uh, possibly a touch loud. There we go. So yeah, not voice acting. It's not early access. It is an indie title. So it's more of a... It is what it is, I guess. Okay, upwards thrust. I think this is why it's best played with a controller, because you've got like a... Depends on how hard you depress it. Oh, crap, here we go. Smashed it. Like like a boss there. Okay, here's the other one. Oh ah I spoke way too early there, didn't I? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um yeah, Chick is definitely no flight assist, I can tell you that much for a fact. Oh, Okay. <laughs> right, well, I think we'll just reset that. I don't know if we can get it onto the other one. Ah, oh, I almost had it. Oh no! That just hit someone over there. Um, if this is how you fly the spaceship, we are in for all kinds of ridiculousness. Oh, chickens need more metal plates. Hey, you know what? We landed it once, so let's call that a win. Um, let's move on. But if you notice how quickly everything moves, like the, the time of day, I think that's really interesting. Uh, who do we have here? Poor Fee. Heyo, hatchling. It's a bit rude. Ah, uh, here you're leaving us to go seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's me, you, and Gossan open up a bottle of the good stuff. Hmm. Greatest, you missed the beginning. Let's do that again. Shh. Can't do that. Don't worry about it. Um, Yuvika, no, I don't think there is. Um, who knows? No rebuys at all, Theo. Um, we've got the. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. The other stars are still too far away. The good stuff is less delicious. It is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Yeah. An iron stomach is a mark of a true Herthian. Okay. A hardy hunter-gather lifestyle stems from trial and error. By which I mean our ancestors survive eating a lot of bad things. <laughs> Let me get over here. An old fella. You're actually blasting off in that thing. Huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told I just saw the statistics are quite high. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, these seem to burn <laughs> to the ground around here more than they used to. Uh-oh. Oh, Harrison, you actually played it. Right, okay. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. Satellite camera. This projector is linked to our sky ship's flames. Timber Hearth. 
The satellites put two onboard cameras, see if you can take us off the village. I mean, that's the village there. Yeah, I did it. Hmm. Uh, hey Gary, how you doing? Marl, that's a good solid name. So it's launch day, huh? How's going to miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be perfect choice. What? Oh, great test, you, you weirdo. <laughs> you do. The current launch pad is fine, thanks. Nice try. Um, we all know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable. Ha! <laughs> Didn't you realise that? Don't worry. It's held up all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Thanks, dude. Oh, dearie me. Hello there, Space Gert. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travellers up there, remind, remind them to take proper care of their instruments when you Tell me about travellers' instruments. Where's the observatory? Just say hi before I leave. Yeah. Uh, hey, DP. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Take care of yourself up in space. Oh, I can't believe they're telling me what to do. Although it probably is a reasonably good advice, isn't it? Okay, towards the observatory. Oh, I can't bother to speak to the children. Zero G K. Okay. Yeah, Harrison. I I, I guess they everything's very kind of. I know, a little bit steampunky in a way. No, speak with the kid. I've got to speak with the kids. Oh. All right. I'll speak to the kids, then I'll speak to the fishermen. If I then say something interesting and important that I then realise later on, this is a great idea. Hello, astronaut. What's for the radio? Wood we'll play hide and seek, but Marine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate. You're not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can I use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? Hmm. Yeah, Taj, and I suppose there is that. Yeah, let's play. Here are the rules. They're gonna hide with the radios and use the signal scope to find them. Ah. I understand. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Tutorial. The whole thing is basically a tutorial. I get it. I mean, I, I can see them right over there. I mean, no. Oh, do I have to... I wonder. How how am I actually supposed to get over the Um yeah Johnny, um I, I kind of for the longest time I was keeping everything separate. Um but I, I guess it kind of became time to you know, merge all together. Oh, we found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Alright. Hey. This is obviously going to be a this is how we find cool stuff in it. I mean, Clive kind of has a channel. I wouldn't call it a good channel. Right, we 
to have to go over the building. Okay. Um, Theo, the, the chances of me speaking like Yamex is pretty low. Oh, there she is. We found her. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Okay, cool. Can we actually talk to her as well? Okay, now we're done. We're done. Let's go have a chat with the old Fisher dude. Because I'm sure he'll have something else to teach us. It's got a weird kind of um, Legend of Zelda feeling to it at the start. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Well, I guess we were a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, giant's deep, that's where I'd go. Why would you go there? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep. And it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gambro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed the ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down. And I counted how murky the water was. I guess too dark. Gambro wanted to see what lay beneath the surface, so decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down, but suddenly Gambro couldn't go any further. Apparently, I know. Um, sure, okay, but shut up a minute. This is the good part. As that makes sizing all of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. They held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. Mm. And then in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Is that all true? I heard it from Gabbro himself. Gabbro is a little, a little fanciful, sure. But they, uh, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. I guess if you want to know the story is true, you can see Giants Deep for yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will tell you, we live in a crater, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, we're away from the water. It's lovely and peaceful. Uh, evening, M MK, how you doing? What's this kid doing? Hi, astronaut. Um, you know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gus Ann said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Uh, Mars Minder, hello, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. This is going to be a bit like an audiobook for anyone who's just listening in. So, hopefully... You uh, don't hate the sound of my voice. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Is that like actual cool? Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and impossibly cold substance that's invisible to the naked eye. Um, I mean, was that not there? Good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. <laughs> Thanks, Tone. Moving through a ghost matter is uniquely painful and probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around. Well, let's have a little poke around before we use the camera. Uh, well, Theo, yeah, you've always got a great score. It, it's what you do. Let's use the camera. Okay, if we take a snapshot... Oh, you can see it. Okay. That's all that does. So that's going to be important. Um, we need to go to the observatory, which is over there. Oh, so we have to get around this way. Let's go to the top. What's it say? I saw smoke coming Hello from there. the Yonbark Crater up north. Um... Sidno Templar, thank you very much for following. Mars Minder, no, no, it's not. Although it could potentially be quite a good little VR game. Um, what's this? Scout launcher. Keys and weapons. Young Bark Crater. So I guess we're gonna.
Oh, look, there you go. Oh, we had a little look around there. Okay. Um, okay, at the moment it seems cool. When we get in the spaceship, I think it's going to be a different story. Hey, come say hi if your old flight coach... Um, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got zero-g training set up if you want a refresher. Gossa. Probably do. Some chat with them. Oh, he's missing an eye. That's really peculiar. I mean, which one do you look at? Hey, I thought you might sit high. I thought I might see you before the launch. Nerves getting a better review? A little nervous, yeah. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space, you think? I got coffee during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Well, like pr proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident you could make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Okay. Um, well, Mars, the it's already made. Um, <laughs> I love that it looks like space in the cave, and then you use your flashlight, and it's just a cave. I feel like I appreciate that. Zero G cave, zero G cave. Let's suit up. Um, down thrust and up thrust. Okay, off we go. Zero G cave, zero G cave. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, right. I immediately retract what I said about uh, left lock on. Eight, okay, right. So your match velocity keeps keep you still. Repair. Yeah, I would not want to do that in VR. That would be vomit inducing. I appreciate I appreciate the mechanic for it. This is uh, an interesting one. Do one more thing to repair. Is it one of the struts? No. Right. Inside. Oh. Uh. That probably mental powers there. Training simulation complete. So I feel that's going to be a mechanic we need to know. Oh, don't bounce off too much stuff. Um, let's. Is this the way out? Oh, let's not slam into too many rocks. I mean, that has to be the way out, doesn't it? Which I now, for some reason, can't find. There we go. Smashed it. Oh, this is weird. Oh, it's a nightmare. So, yeah. So I guess we get one of these when we go... Get on the spaceship that we eventually get to see. Uh, we'll turn in. It feels to me like they're little shiny, little shiny rocks. Yep, <laughs> nailed it. Oh. Nice done. Of course it'll be a bit more stressful when you're hurtling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. 
I can see you're itching to get off the rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that, I've put so much time into training you. Got it? What a lovely guy. Observatory. Off we go. Uh, hey, Mario. I'm doing alright. I, mean, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be amazing when it comes to reading an audio book. <laughs> hey, hey! It's my favourite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tools in Normal Fight 2. So I'm excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any no my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into it inventing that tool, so don't break it. Okay? Haha. <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since you were a hatchling. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the, the new Nomai statue? Uh, new statue? Haven't you heard? Gabbro brought it back from him from Giant Steep, and Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. It's right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish that I could have a real, um, could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close we'll ever get. I bet it isn't. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. Don't tell Clive. Uh, this is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. A little carried away there. Go on. You have your ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? Whew. Um, Smitty, I, I don't think you need to be scared. Everything's pretty harmless. These are like three-eyed goat people. What's this here? Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfect level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon! As it orbits our planet, the Atal 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 Rock's gravity pulls the objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. I mean... They aren't moving on their own, are they? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they are. Off they go. Yeah, gravity! I'm gravity now. Right. What do we have? What's this? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Can't like the Rosetta Stone. Although the text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Uh, okay. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, fortunately, the Atoll Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to be finally resuming our search. Okay, what are they looking for? That is the question. Hmm. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other ob subjects that we can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe, or simply had vibrant imaginations. Um, right, so greatest, you you can't actually align the lines as such. So, it it depending on where you're pointing. So once you translated it, you translated it. That's it. 
Oh, that's skull. Here you see parts of a gnome skeleton. You can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. Only three. The gnome body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the gnome anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Hathians couldn't have descended from gnome ancestors. It's not cl clear where the gnome originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar systems. Okay. Looks like one of the probes. Nomai technology brought back from the space of by astronauts has been a great boon to our outer wilds adventures. Hey, this is the name of the game. Allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This dramatically reduces the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. Um, it's like the other glyph. Um, non-translatable. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Okay. Alright, well this is weird. Wait. So weird. Hey Nightbot, how you doing? You lurking? Oh, so it's like an anglerfish. Oh, look at this. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the to dark bramble. It appears well suited for living in the dark, places with a minimal atmosphere. I thought I would start this end. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Accurate. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Then what? As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The stars become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Um, right. Uh, what? Was that? That was... That, that was somewhere different. Right. The strange rock moving around the grotto appears to react to conscious observation. A level-headed among us may realise that there is some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gambro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. I mean... <laughs> okay, so... Look away. Look back. Look away. Hello there. Um, Jim and Lissimo Ryman, thank you for watching this prescribing. Um, if you're watching, say hello. Yeah. Okay. That is weird. And creepy. Okay, that's cool. That's a very cool little, um, little thing. Let's pop up here and have a look and see what's going on. This is obviously the observatory, because it looks like one with a giant bloody telescope. Oh, map. View map. What? Okay. So, <laughs> I, I, I immediately want to know what that is out here. Like, what is this? So that's Giant's Deep, Brittle Hollow, which we've had mentioned already. And that looks Hollow's Lantern. Interesting. 
the Hourglass Twins, Ember and Ash. Uh, hey Hunter, how you doing, mate? Um, Harrison, no. Dark Bramble, which is super creepy. Um, this is the thing that I saw in the tra um, the trailer, and I was like, uh, I think, I think I need this. I think, I think, I think I need this game. This is th this thing here, because I know you get, I know you get to fly in into it, which is gonna be cool. Um, so yeah, Giant's Deep, we've got a moon around it as well. And some other stuff. Okay. Off we go. Hashtag no spoilers. Should put that in there. Okay, Hornfells, he's going to give us launch codes. Um, PayPal's not accepting new members. Mario, is, is it not? Should be. There you are, I just finished pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomise Translator 2. I confess, I'll be giddy all, um, all day just thinking about it. Uh, we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai, going to meet up with the travellers, I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I'll start with something small, I don't know, I'm going to wing it. Um, I want to go somewhere I've never been before, or no one's been before. I like it, you have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before. You know, perhaps you'll be the first. I must say, should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. You'll be, um, and you'll find... And for what you'll find are excellent reasons. Hmm. Well then, it looks like that's left to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> you'll need the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you do anything. Okay. We got launch codes. We are going to go into space. Ooh, they're about different galaxies. Oh. All right. Weird. So weird. A very cool little mechanic, though. Uh, what? What? What the crap? Um... It's replaying all my gameplay, but... What? What the hell just happened? What? 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 Okay. We're going to go to the launch tower. Hey, hey! Did you get a good look at the name of my statue? Um, the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa! The statue was doing what? So, uh, uh, Mario! Oh, thank you very much, buddy. Uh, much appreciated. Genuinely, thank you. Um, this is weird. So his eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around you. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offence, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? Uh, yeah, you know what, don't worry about it. No, the statue was definitely weird. It was. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfield's tried everything to get the statue's eyes open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from, from the museum statue. But Gabriel said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Okay. 
Medina's tame, or on the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd better off searching for more info on your own. Geez, now I'm really jealous that you're going to space. Hey, see if you can use a translator tool to find more about the statue. Okay. Good luck and safe flying. Well, Mario, I'm just a guy that likes playing games, and um, I'm really happy that you guys hang out and want to see what I'm doing. Look at this little, this little kid. He's back again. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar has said too, but they never did. Hornfells were really sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make make sure you don't get lost in space too. Okay, creepy kid. Oh look, here we are. Oh yeah. Coming to roast a marshmallow. Alright. So we even stick around. Set fire to it, because that's what, that's what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> okay. Alright. Enter launch codes. I have no idea what to expect here. I've never got this far. I have no idea what's happening. I mean... Um, Harrison, have I ever seen Lost in Space? Yeah, yeah I have. Um, the series and the old movie from the 90s, but I've not seen the original series. Okay, what the, what's that up there? Oh, it's on moon. Okay. Oh, let's suit up. Because you can't be wrong wearing a suit, can you? Um. Oh, look, that's one of the. Oh, ship's log. I mean, it's made out of wood. Like the spaceship's made out of wood. Um. Okay. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Um, health and fuel. Okay. Uh, let's put the suit back. We don't need that just yet. This is weird. Okay, let's read the ship's log. Um... Okay, we've got some entries. How says Gabbro? What about times do you learn more about the entry? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, what's happening here? Rumor mode. Um. Right. So this is kind of like a gives you things to do. I think. Right. I understand. It's kind of like your helps put things together for you, and it tells you what to do and where to go. Kind of your your, your log, literally, like it's just in the tin. Funny that, eh? Um, but yeah, that's uh, an interesting one. Um, as you know, what I haven't said we're about forty-five minutes in. Um, I haven't encouraged everyone to hit the like button yet, and as you guys know, uh, it does let me know whether or not you're, you're enjoying stuff like this. Obviously, um, not just viewer numbers, but also your guys' feedback. I I appreciate it. I like to know. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna buckle up and give it a go. The right trigger is okay. Oh, we've got lift off a landing camera, so you can see exactly what you're looking at. Ok, 
Okay. We're off. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Um, is this the planet? Or planetoid, I guess you might say. Timber Hearth. That's what it is. So, um, you can see the, in the bottom left-hand corner, that gives you your, your axes that you're working on. And so you know which direction you're going. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Flying is hard. It's a bit weird that they live in like this one spot. Sinclair, yeah it is! <laughs> Which is weird, isn't it? I mean, oh, okay. How do, I wonder, oh. Oh, I don't. Um, exit start ship to repair starboard done with thrusted but oh no okay um, I don't know if I've, this is going to be a nightmare um, Iron Fist no I'm not I'm using a alright we can need to, oh that's why it keeps being weird. Okay. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna suit up. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller. Um, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um. That's a problem. This is a problem. Um, I think. I think. I have done a really bad job here. Um, it's okay though, because we've got the jetpack, so we'll just get ourselves out. Um. Only I, only I could do this. Um, ah, uh, well, technically, Lotrowski, um, it's not 1G. Oh, what's the... Ghost matter. Apparently. This is weird. Oh, not all the way back at the beginning. Okay. That was odd. We've still got the launch codes. Hold up, can I get the launch codes from the observatory? Um, okay. So, this has a time loop aspect to it. Right? And I wasn't sure when this would kick in, but it is. Um... So I've already got the launch codes, so you kind of get in this loop where something happens, you die, you respawn, but you still know all the things you've got and you've still made your progression. Ah. So... Already got them. Huh, I must have been hitting more fumes than I realised. This stuff is potent. Well, if we got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Okay. Yeah, Nightbot, Edge of Tomorrow style stuff. Important. We're not going to um, put the suit on. 
Um, and let's... Just get ourselves off this planet. I want to go to the moon. I think that's my plan. Oh, okay, so we've got free look. Oh! Um, this is where I wanted to go, you see, because that was part of the storyline. Um, how, do, how do we land? So we match velocity by pressing and holding A. This is weird. Oh. Now, I mean, I don't, f I don't really feel like with match velocity. All right, we do need to repair our ship, so we're gonna actually see if we can get this right. <laughs> we are on the moon. Okay, so there's point four gravity here. Now, for us to repair the ship, I think the front of it was, the front of it was broken. There we go. Um, okay, what do we have over here? Uh, play recording. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice from the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Hello there. Hmm. Uh, Pedro Quato, thank you very much for subscribing. I'd posit that Atla Rock was hit by a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the other astral bodies in the solar system. Interesting. We can refuel a jetpack there. Can't pick that up. Oh, that's weird. Um, the Trotsky is just setting one, uh, one solar system. Just one system. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's put ourselves back on the rock, shall we? Okay. How do you think I should land on the comet? Uh, I think we might take the ship over. That'd be the... Oh, look at this. Little crashed, crashed spaceship. Oh, ouch. Take care. Thanks for dropping in, man. It's so... Like, funny. Quirky. Okay, right, well... Are those two planets connected? Oh, there's a flag on the planet. I'm going to assume this is the first person that came here did that. Uh, but the as you can jetpack off into orbit, I mean... Just going to... Oh, look, we've got someone here. Trees detected oxygen tank refilled. Oh, we're good. 
Yeah. Yeah. Someone lives on here. Huh. Oh, hey, it's you. How does this person know I am? Ground control didn't tell me that uh, you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travellers come by? The Lone Outpost saw more traffic back in the days when the ships were sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Yeah, I mean, it's fantasy, isn't it? A science fantasy. Um, sometimes chat comes to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. And you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go! Oh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little, I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfell's cross end mostly, and they radio up to chat every now and then. Um, and when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget you. Don't blame them. Uh, for one, I don't check in as often as the other travellers, since I'm always in one place. It's not that bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone our village. Was that you whistling? Probably. You're actually definitely. The other travellers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole Great Reception. North Pole is marked red on your mini-map, uh, but the Adler Rock is pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Talk to you later, bro. Slightly more gravity in this part here. What's this, then? I feel like I need to... Oh... Signal Lord. Day 48, still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to chat play for a while today. Unrelated. Some would tell what Porphy and Gossa and their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. It sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oath, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but I heard a sound from Timber Hearth. But the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still there. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Nice. Nice. That's pretty creepy. I suppose you get two for one at spec savers, don't you? So I mean, that's a harmonica, right? So, okay, that's everything repaired. Let's get off this off this rock, I suppose. Um, my main plan, really, is just kind of fly around and see what happens. Um, like I say, I really, I really wanted to go to Dark Ramble. Oh, autopilot. Nice. I'm happy there is an autopilot. Oh. Cool. 
This is seriously cool. Like, seriously, seriously cool. Interesting enough, it does have um, flight assist off. Um, Harrison, it's got one. <laughs> Super cruise assist. Ah, uh, that's something you can't do. You can't, like, rotate your... But this is, let's say, it's seriously weird. Actually, roll. Ah, okay. You can roll. Oh, we're gonna go in the middle. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. What is this? I have no idea what's going on. I... Oh my, this is odd. I guess we're going to go towards this. Go towards the signal. There seems to be something here. Um. Oh, it's so creepy. Uh oh. Okay. We've matched our velocity. This is probably a massive mistake. But we're going to get out. Oh. And we're going to have an investigate. Okay, we're drifting towards the harmonica playing <laughs> because they've mentioned that, so I thought like that must be must be relevant. Um, Theo, I've got no guns. Okay. Wait, what just happened? Did it just move? Weird. Um, and we're definitely going towards it. Mess. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Lieutenant Trotsky, I haven't actually decided to look for it yet. Oh, 
Oh, it's creepy though, isn't it? Ah, uh, what is this? What is this? Okay. Tree detected. That's where it's coming from. Oh, look, Feldspar. The person who disappeared. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come here in well ever, actually. That makes you the second Herthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut. And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive? You never were the Bryce actually, were you? Yeah, that's right. Well, I've been coming out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? And then you crashed. Look, I have to wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge. And none of us had ever been inside Dark Brambles, so I think, hey, I'd give that a try. If I've, like, completed the game in one step, that's going to be really crap, isn't it? And none of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I thought, hey, I'd give that a try. We've been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns. <laughs> then I run into this huge anglefish, the biggest I've ever seen. Pull a few stunts, try to shake this thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, crash. Blammo. On impact, my, start ma my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Surely enough, I am barely out of barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Camped out where... Bloody cat. <laughs> I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. You... You'd be stupid not to use it. So I'll move myself over here and plant my emergency see uh, tree seeds. Ah, that's where they come from. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. The fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you want? I found something. Where should I explore? Um... Should I tell Ground Control to come and get you? Yeah, sure, when you have time. Frankly, I kind of like it here. Quiet, peacefulish. You're all young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. See, now that means... Oh, here we go, yeah. I want to have a little poke around and see what this is. But then, if he saw a giant anglerfish, that probably means revenge. Because I don't, I don't have any guns. Oh, uh oh. Okay. You, it punctures your, your suit. Now, I think someone said. You won't find your ship. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I'm gonna find my ship now. Um. Yeah, I trust you know. Um, fire the scout launcher at the core. So that, that fr from my ship, I assume that is. Um, actually, that's a giant anglerfish in the middle.
No, uh, oh, do I have one? Ah, there you go. Shosky, yeah, uh, I'm not trying to quite be the, the, ca the Captain Obvious style. Wait, so it goes away. It's coming up behind me? This is weird. Um. Oh. Okay. I died. Apparently. So I guess then teleport back to. What the hell? <laughs> this is a total. Well, mind-bending experience. That's a polite way of putting it. Hey, Clyde. This isn't helping explore this solar system, mate. You've been so noisy. Okay. There's our pint ready to go. Uh... You're lucky I'm in a loop, a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. You're lucky I don't have, um, don't have your ground for medical reasons, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Hey Clive. How you doing, bud? Groundhog Day. Uh, alright, Quiro, take it, bud. Shiv, are you on space drugs? Isn't that just drugs? Clive, what are you doing? So the cat's jumped on my lap. Clive has jumped on my lap. He's decided it's the best way to be because he's being super pushy about the fact that it's a whole 45 minutes until dinner time. Okay. So, this is really weird. Well, let's have a look at our computer, the ship log, and see if we've got anything. Okay. Got to connect dots. I've died twice. Yeah. Yeah. So, Esker's camp. Um, Grand Corp trees at the camp, they seem to be doing okay. They've probably been alone on that move for too long. Yep. Then we did the lunar lookout, and then we listened to the harmonica signal. See now. I feel like I've jumped ahead by finding it. Lunar ruins, um, observatory about climbing some sort of device on that. Right, let's go back to the moon. And let's try and not, um, not fudge this, this time. Um, oh. Almost immediately hit and crashed. Um, where's the moon? Go to Smoke and Tim Perth. Right. I mean, what's that? Okay. 
Isn't this where I crashed before? I thought this is this is actually where I crashed. Or when I when I first died. This is this is the location of death number one. <laughs> No more spoilers, man. No more spoilers. Um. Let's have a chat with this guy then. Hey, Hatchling, I thought you were taking that tin cannon of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures. So my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? I have nothing I've ever seen in Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it's put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than the tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set off any hack um, anyone to hacking a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside. Um, Tuff can help me hold haul the old scout launcher here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. Anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into something that looks unpleasant as the seat does. Good way to lose an arm or two. Well, just so happens. No. That's it. Oh, did, I, did, I, did I miss slightly? There, it's gone. What? So everything leads back to there. Okay. This is it's like seriously seriously weird. So and now it's got the same crystals around it like that were on the moon. The strength is the strength at the base of the pillar. That's where that comes from in Dune. No. That's so weird. And that's why you got the harmonica sound coming from it. Because it's playing because he's right next to the bramble seed. There. Clive, that's enough. Uh, right. So the weird brambly thing is like a portal. Because, like they said, ah, oh look, headlights. There was 
an alien thing. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. Alien ruins of some kind. The spaceships are not easy to control. That's what I'll say about them. And I'll tell you guys that for free. Yeah, you know, I think what we might do is just land. And we'll get out and run over. I say run. I didn't mean run. Oh, <laughs> way too far. Don't need an SRV because I've got space legs. Uh. What? Now, what we need is we need the. Oh. Translator. Oh, I suppose that pops out, doesn't it? Oh. What? What's going on? I am very confused. But it's pointing over at the deep giant thing? Okay, so we're controlling this little ball. Ah. Okay. And that's going to align on something else. I mean, this is... It, is it freaking out? That doesn't work. That one doesn't point to anything. Okay. This is so weird. Let's head down below, shall we? Alright, let's translate this. Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. Okay. Coleus, however, Something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly. Yep, I picked up on that. Thatch, this is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling. Okay. Felix, I see it's most likely calibrated the locating correctly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Oh. Felix, update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Cassava, which is weird. Uh, all right, Harrison, take care, bud. Um, it sounds me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build more sophisticated devices. We want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Thatch. Um, then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We will not give up easily. OK. 
Okay, ship's log has been updated. This is a very odd thing. This looks like, ah, uh, more writing? Let's pick up scroll. Insert scroll. Okay, thatch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Bristol Hollow hmm, has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always had great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. Eye of the universe, some crash, uh, what are talking about? Um, I'll bring construction on Brittle Hollow's south pole immediately then. Looks like we're going back to Brittle Hollow. Kellius, I know that um, those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. I've got to stop doing that. <clears throat> True detected option to how fell. Okay. Um. Hmm. What's this over here? Ah. Play recording. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. This is some kind of a Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But, from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to find something specific. The Eye of the Universe. I'm not sure it was... Um, I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brussel Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just going to get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, the stars above. Okay, so we're going back to Brittle Hollow, I think. This is so weird. And it, yeah. It's super weird. There's my ship. Okay, back in the ship we go. Next stop, Brittle Hollow. Again. But we'll actually go to the South Pole rather than um, die horrifically. But they've also built something there as well, so we should probably check that at some point. But let's stay on point. Looks like something over there. What is that? No. Stay focused. Hang on. Dark Bramble isn't Brittle Hollow. I need to look at the map. That was Brittle Hollow. New planet. Gonna autopilot the way there. So, we want to go to the South Pole. It's actually hollow. Some of the ideas behind this is absolutely incredible. Hey, to me this looks like it's a black hole in the middle of a planet. Yeah, it is. Oh, we do not want to go in there. Let's 
It's just oh, we're being we're being pulled in. Okay, definitely being pulled in. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh God, this is bad. Um, yeah. Um, I think this could be a problem. This could definitely be a problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to get to the outside. I think we know how it, these places all have gravel, gravity. Well, I say gravel, gravel tea. All of them have gravel tea. Alright, this looks about right. I think this looks right. This looks... the same architecture. Oh yeah, we're definitely one of the poles. Ah, some writing. Rough. Okay. Felix, as it was uh, the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky, your thoughts interest me. Thatch, I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis, could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Plume, suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Okay. That's not scientific at all. Plume, I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic, to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. Plume. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Hypothesis. Um, there can exist too much lava. Okay. Oh no, imagine if there were two volcanic moons. I imagine there'd be none of those left. Um, followed by a, there can exist too much lava. Then... I strongly prefer if we test the null hypothesis. Okay. Uh, that was kind of terrifying. Oh, look, some more, more wreckage, wreckage like ruins. <laughs> you slammed face first into that. I didn't. This is interesting. Ah, oh, look at the mm, dead tree. Right, more writing. The hanging city below 50 meters. Um. Oh. Okay. What do we have here? Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow. Um, I just walked here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Okay. Our design worked with successfully recreated warp travel. Poke. Oh, poke. I don't know how close it is to a known as original concept, or original design, um, but as long as we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew, I knew we could do it. Wait, they can't be correct. Clary, if you've seen these readings, they're, they're, they were accurate. They would violate casu casuality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Poke, don't tell Cassandra. It's over here. Felix, it's wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Mystery. So much mystery. Okay. This is interesting. Oh. Skeleton. Broken scroll. Weird stick thing. I wonder if that's where is it?
but yeah, the whole kind of like tracking down a, a, de a deceased alien species and investigating, I've always full of so much mystery. If you're just coming across like half written conversations and oh, so we are going down there, and we can't go down there. Oh, feldspar spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if you can't use the jetpack. So I'm leaving this here. You can use it, but you have to replace it. Okay. Well, I'm not. Hmm. Let's have a quick observation, I guess. I feel like we need to go inside the planet. Um. <laughs> that is brilliant. So I guess we have to go through the black hole. Well, that seems like the most likely thing that we need to do. Or... We go to the... Oh no, this is bad. This is not good. We got, I kind of want to go to the upside down city, I think. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I think... I think we'll be alright. Jeremiah, um, you say that, but I... I think it sounds like a great idea. Like, possibly one of the best I've had. But now we're on this weird upside down city. Which. Okay. Yeah. Weird upside down city. Check. Uh, no, see, Jeremiah, I just think that if you find yourself in a black hole, a lot of people can't take the pressure. Ooh. What this? Ship's logs updated, so we should probably check on the ship log at some point. Goodness, this is in, this is just crazy. Like literally crazy. Um Trees detected, cool. Good. Oh, nope. Don't go that way. Um too close to target. Okay. Black hole forge controls. Okay. You can um, oh. What? <laughs> I am so confused. So we've just pulled something up, apparently. Is the black hole still going? Yeah, forge controls. Black hole forge controls. Jeremiah, this is truly madness. Oh, I think I just blew myself up. I think I just destroyed the planet. So we don't do that. So, Jeremiah, I don't know if you've been watching, um, but basically you're stuck in a time loop. So every time you die, you return back to the same spot. But you retain all of your knowledge and everything you've done. This is strange, this is so weird. So straight back to the ship. Put the suit on. Yeah, 
detergent kind of does, but at the same time, there's no explanation. Because I need to go back to Brittle Hollow, I guess. Yeah, Johnny, isn't it just? <laughs> it is super, super weird. Is it me or is the planet looking in better condition than it was? Hey. Hey, what, what is this? Uh, Tangent, there is that, isn't there? Is this, does this count as landed? Yeah, it counts as landed. And I just find signal with it by. It's a haunting violin. Oh, joy. He came up with that. Oh. And what's this? Hang on. Trace detected oxygen tank refilled. Signal detected escape pod one. Frequency discovered distress beacon. Okay. And what's this? Thatch, is everyone unharmed? that no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact were incredibly fortunate. Thatch, this is good news. At least we have heard from escape pod 2 or 3. No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Thatch, everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Plume. I observe several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb down safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. So, there are platforms. <laughs> uh, Rowdy Rat. Um, cool, I mean, this is... It's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, that's what I've got to say about it. I had no real... I just got, kind of thought it was like a cool sci-fi exploration game. I had no idea that it would be, well, simply what it is. Uh, I, <laughs> I hope not, Johnny. I hope not. I feel like maybe a wooden spaceship wouldn't do very well against them. That's the moon they were talking about. Right. Let's... Oh. Some of these fall, fall down. Great. Auto Colto easily could be... could be me. Tech, so right. Plume, use caution a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Okay. Oh, I'm really not liking uh yeah. This isn't good. 
Ah. <laughs> why is it doing this? Why? Why? Why does everything hate me? Plum. Uh, plume. Of note. Be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. Plume. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember, be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Oh my goodness. This is some weird. This is weird. So weird. Um. Hmm. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna come back to this bit because before I go walking on the ceiling. Oh. Oh it oh no. Oh oh no. What is happening? Right. So before that happens, um given concerns about us should we reconstruct a new less temporary shelter. Um I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. We need to stay close to the escape pods so we can, uh, so Felix can monitor the incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe that anyone's come to save us. Thatch, we must save ourselves. Please, my agree. We're here because the eye's signal called us and we followed. If we're able to find it, we would not merely survive but thrive. Thatch, that's a wise point. Plume and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that's what we should do. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from volcanoes, moons, eruptions. Uh, what if we use gravity crystals and craft a stable path, which is what they've done on the ceiling? But we're not going that way yet. Oh my god. Because I want to go and have a look inside that building over there. And that one. And that one. Oh god. Um, I'm getting worried about my oxygen levels. Thatch, this knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything that we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the centre, which, uh, much like a pupil, supposed signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. That's the most significant detail. Ooh. Plume, the no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Okay. writing here. Thatch. The hardest part of the tragedy, not knowing who we may have lost. All will be the hardest part to come later, when we learn. Be well, Aunt Mullerai. Okay. Um, yeah, Johnny, it is. It's being hit by the volcanic, ridiculously volcanic moon on the outside, and then anything getting knocked down is being pu pulled into the black hole. Oh look, a tree. A living tree. Good news. Oh. Wasn't I just on that? Um. I mean, it is possible that what happens is the planet gets destroyed. Okay. Oh. You seeing that? That's the signal thing that we're talking about. That's the bramble stuff. Let's have a read. I can't understand why did the vessel crash in that place. Was the vessel unwell in some way? Unwell? No, Anona and I checked before the warp. 
and the warp core and navigation systems will both well. We have uh, we warped to follow the curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Thatch. Suppose it wasn't a problem with a vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid our friends in Escape Pod 3. Oh no. Oh no, what happened to them? Um, yeah, Alto, this is seriously weird. Uh, it's, but in a good way? Because it's, they're like really kind of funky. Good way. Uh, I've never, I've never played a game like this before. Let's go up. Ah. Yeah. That, that That's a problem, that. That was the, the gravity path thing that I was going to follow. Wasn't it? <laughs> and now I can't, because it's been destroyed. And I don't know where my ship is, either. Um, up. I need to keep going up. This could be a problem. I just need to. Know, I, I need to know the mystery. I need to know what what we're doing, what we're looking for, who we're looking for, why, why we're looking for. <laughs> oh oh no no no! This is bad. This is bad! Oh no! Oh no! Um... What? <laughs> Tone, I wasn't destroying everything. That wasn't me. What's this? What is this over here? Please be a spaceship of some kind. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Let's go inside it. Um, okay, oxygen refilled. Is it, I think this is a spaceship of some kind. In between projection stone. Okay. I, I don't really know where we put that. Always drop it by looking at the floor, right? This is so. I'm <laughs> so confused. Uh, welcome to Whitehall Station. Did you fall through the Black Hole by accident? Don't worry, you aren't the first. You can use this warp tower to return to Bristol Hollow. Brilliant. Warp towers work like this stand in the middle of the platform on the floor, look up, and wait. The path opens when the tower's corresponding astral body, in this case, Brutal Hollow, is directly overhead. So what am I doing with this tablet? Alright, that's going up. This one's going down. Let's, let's explore this place more. Oh no. It's another one of these things, which is... Bad stuff normally happens. Oh, is this where we change... Are we changing what we're aiming at? Is that what's happening? No, it's just, it's just moving. Ah, okay. So that appears to have changed the direction it's spinning. 
and I don't know what I'm doing with this shard. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Okay, so it spins. Right, here we go. So it spins until it lines up with where you want to go. So that's how you know. Um, well. Whoa, okay. Well, we're back. I brought the shard thing with me. Uh, departure time, arrival time. Okay. I don't know why I feel like it's important for me to be carrying this little slate thing around. But I feel like it is important. Good news is we can restock on fuel here. I guess we're going back down below. Ah! Insert the Ember Twin Projection Stone. Oh god. Oh, what on earth? What was that? <laughs> okay. That was weird. So, was it? I'm now magically on a different planet? I don't think I can step out of this area here. What the? What is that? Wait, what? Can we, can we walk out of it? No. Okay. That's really freaking weird. Let's grab that. Let's put it in this one. See if this makes a difference. What did that do? Oh, okay. We've got some writing. Pi. That's a new person. Uh, Ram and I have reviewed the records you sent. Poke. They appear to show the Nomai arriving at the warp receiver in Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole State. You're moving backwards in time. I don't know, Turgeon. I know that we need to go there, because they did mention something. Uh, I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and, and retested the equipment, and some result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundredth of a second, but the exposure instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree. As I've already told Remy, the measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Bristle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Remy, uh, Poke, as Pi is confident in the reading is, is inaccurate, she's kindly helped me to attempt to recreate the phenomenon of the High Energy Lab. Okay, that's an important thing. We're redesigning, well, we're designing an experiment to take a look at data. An update. Poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Here you go, Turgeon. Um, come here at once, you need to see this. Poke, I don't disagree. I would mean that I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding the universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Um, what where my ship is? <laughs> how am I gonna get? To, how am I gonna get to my ship, which I stupidly parked on the inside of a collapsing planet? Oh, 
Oh no, not again. Oh, my ship's over there. Oh. Oh, oh no, not again. <laughs> um. Now, what's that over there? This is, I need to know what this is now. This is just a big chunk of inside planet, isn't it? This is seriously weird. Um, I do need to heal, and the only way for me to heal is to get back to my ship. My, my ship that is, it's, I mean, it's only 12.4 kilometers away. I feel like I could do that. Well, either way, we're going to want to get back into this station. Although, I, I think death might be acceptable because of the whole time leap thing. I honestly I feel like it might be oh this is bad. Yeah Tajin it kind of is. Right. Hey look, we're back in here. Time loop of shame. <laughs> okay, so we stand here, we look up, and we wait. Wait for that to align. This is just one of the... This is honestly one of the strangest... The strangest games I've ever played. Right. So the ship is 400-something metres away. Once again... I mean, we, we do stand a very good chance of dying. But that, uh, that, that makes this completely relevant. Where I've left... After I've arrived. Okay. I mean... Yeah, I'm feeling like death might be the solution. If we get as close to my ship as we can... Oh no, no, no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> okay! My ship's... I mean, it's only over there. I mean, how difficult can that be to get to? Like, where... where the... Yeah. Let's see if this thing can... Can it fight the pull of it? Oh no! We're going back around again! Oh, actually, wait, can we... Can we get off where, where, where my ship is? Is that going to be possible? This... Oh my goodness. This could actually... Work? Is it going to work? Oh, it's not going to work. We're in the black hole again. Well, that was blind luck. Well, 
Tower of Quantum Knowledge, West 190. I assume if we change that, that... Oh. That's not great. Turgeon, I don't know. But there's someone sitting here playing a banjo. So there's that. A bit of progression. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow. I guess that means that I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow. But you probably knew that. Lots of history here, isn't it great? What are you doing here? I'm here in the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. The alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see their civilization? Only. You've probably heard others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone when I'm out here. <laughs> Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gained the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. Really? I just see a big chunk of the planet fall behind him. Crap. Um, and this seems to be the best place surface integrity. I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. Didn't you come all this way to listen to me about that, did you? Um... No, not really. Ha! <laughs> that'd be... yeah. Um, I learned something. Oh, cool! I think the planet's about to... oh my god! That's right! Too late! We died again. Oh my goodness. But what it does mean is that I've got a better idea of what I need to do when I get to the planet now and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Alright, no, but take care, bud. I am going to call time for the stream, though, guys, after that bizarre, crazy death. And I will 100% be continuing with our, with our playthrough of this because... It's so weird and bizarre, and I feel like I have to. Um, yeah, the vortex is a time loop. So it just goes round in circles. Huh. This is mad. So, like I say, I'm going to continue with the playthrough. Um, because I think it's going to be well worth doing. Uh, but okay, guys, I'm going to say, as usual, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I honestly appreciate you guys coming along this journey, uh, checking out Outer, Outer Wilds today. Very different, very unusual. Um, it's available on the on the Epic Store if you fancy picking it up. You know, go for it. But if you spoil anything for me, I will come and I will hunt you down and I will force you into a time loop. But okay, guys, I'm going to say once again thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you do like, subscribe, and also make sure you follow over on Twitch too. But okay, guys, once again thank you very much for watching. Commander Plater, out. <laughs>